This is a one-tenth scale model of a long-range telemetering buoy. It is weathering a simulated hurricane. This is a full-scale prototype in the Gulf Stream, 15 miles off the Florida coast. Designation, Bravo. An unmanned platform designed to gather data from the entire ocean world. In 1960, the U.S. Navy's Office of Naval Research decided to sponsor a step-by-step -step development program for a general-purpose telemetering buoy. Guidance from the oceanographic community would ensure that the system produced by General Dynamics Conveyor would meet the needs of many research programs. The committee specified a buoy with 100 sensor channels for oceanographic and meteorological data. All sensors would be sampled hourly. On command from shore, the buoy would transmit four times daily in digital format from a distance of 2,500 nautical miles. It would stay on station one year unattended. Anchored in depths exceeding 20,000 feet, it would survive and transmit during 150 knot winds, 10 knot currents, and 60 foot breaking waves in any combination. These factors called for a buoy with great reserve buoyancy, low drag, and non-resonant response to surface waves. Extensive hull configuration studies led to scale model testing in this tow tank with seven different shapes. The boat hull, the aid to navigation buoy, cylindrical spar, conical spar, torus, and thin discus could not meet the performance goals. A thick discus was selected. Topped with a 40-foot mast and discone antenna, the all-steel hull is 40 feet in diameter by 7.5 feet deep. Maximum gross weight. 100 tons. Four watertight compartments house electronics and energy conversion equipment. Power comes from piston engine generators, burning propane fuel and charging nickel cadmium batteries. Prototype Bravo first went to sea in October 1964. After shallow water tests near the Florida coast, it was moored in 1,000 feet on the axis of the Gulf Stream, 15 miles off Hollywood Beach, in anticipation of a hurricane. Equipped with temporary VHF, FM, FM line of sight telemetry, it was instrumented for a study of critical design parameters. Environmental sensors were installed for correlation between the engineering data and external forces working on the structure. At Hollywood Beach, the mobile data station was manned around the clock. On command from this equipment, Bravo telemetered data on performance of its subsystems.
waves 45 feet high at Fur Dolphin. Wind speeds average 80 miles per hour with gusts up to 110. All subsystems had performed normally. The buoy had survived with no damage. In the fall of 65, at one hour intervals throughout a lunar cycle, current speed data were telemetered from the buoy. This is the longest known record from the Gulf Stream in the Straits of Florida. From August to November 1966, Bravo was moored in 14,000 feet of water off Bermuda at scopes of 1.7 and 1.3. Purpose of these tests was to study horizontal motion of the buoy and distribution of dynamic loads down the mooring line as a function of scope and sea conditions. Dynamometers measured steady and dynamic mooring tension to a depth of 4,000 feet. Simulated sensor packages gave the line the mass and drag characteristics of an actual operational mooring. Preliminary analysis shows that the buoy can be successfully moored in deep water using conventional materials and techniques. Dynamic loads and buoy excursion were well within expectation. Prototype Alpha was meanwhile being prepared at San Diego for long-range Pacific Ocean telemetering trials. This buoy will be moored off La Jolla, where its single sideband telemetry systems will be tested. Its mobile data center will travel from San Diego to Seattle, interrogating Alpha from various points en route. Inside this hull, will be a prototype digital data acquisition system based on the most recent techniques in information handling and solid state composite circuit design. The equipment you see here is under laboratory checkout. The mobile data center includes a general purpose digital computer which interrogates the buoy, decides if the response is error free, and immediately acquires the data. Subsurface sensors measure salinity, temperature, and pressure. Meteorological sensors read wind speed and direction, barometric pressure, air temperature, relative humidity, solar radiation, and precipitation. In the buoy, the data are digitized and stored in a 24-hour memory. On command, these data are fed to the telemetry transmitter and sent to shore by ordinary ionospheric radio propagation. In the data center, all information is recorded on standard IBM magnetic tape. After long-range telemetering tests with Alpha, both buoys will have been fitted with identical data acquisition systems for participation in scientific work at sea. This 5,000 mile circle is centered on Wake Island. A shore station there could command one or a hundred buoys anywhere within this region. Stations at Wake Island, Hawaii, San Diego, Washington, and Lisbon could provide nearly complete coverage of environmental conditions in the North Pacific and North Atlantic. 